I'm Jason Hampton Taylor and I just want to promote my upcoming um, seminar series that I'll be doing. I'm calling it The Secret. If you can see that, there's a little bit of a brochure there and this brochure is going to be distributed widely. It's also available on www.hamptontaylor.com.au. Now I want to just explain quickly why you should come to my seminar. Now there's one very important point about this whole thing and it's about the replication of artwork. Um, basically what I mean is getting a bit of art like this, um, how do we then capture that bit of, that bit of artwork um, in a high enough quality format to then um, put on to a lovely computer like this, yeah, um, for reproduction, high level reproduction. Now, what would happen traditionally um, is artists would get something like this done and this would be done in a studio under studio lighting conditions with the camera absolutely square to the artwork, polarised filters to get rid of any glare, um, a bunch of different things which would cost you about $150 per image. Yeah, um, But a lot of artists would probably um, capture their fine art on something like this using maybe a Fuji Velvia um, traditional 35mm camera. Now, uh, with the, sort of the, the demise of all the professional photographic labs, this stuff is now sort of outmoded. So what people are resorting to do is to using digital cameras. And people will ask me all the time, you know, why isn't my little Fuji good enough? It's a $800 camera this cost me a couple of years ago. Um, and why isn't that good enough to capture my art and reproduce it onto? Now, well, I want to show you why. Now, this little thing died a little while ago, and I, and I pulled it apart. And I pulled it apart to show you how big, how, how small, the imaging surface is on one of these cameras. Now, as a point of reference, I'll put that imaging surface of that CCD next to a standard 35mm slide. And you can see it covers about 10% of the area of a 35mm slide. Um, so you're squeezing all the information of your fine art onto that tiny surface and then trying to make it bigger again. It doesn't work. Now, to find out how to do it properly, um, with a fairly radical technique, um, using the latest version of Photoshop CS3, come to my seminars, www.hamptontaylor.com. See you there. That's it. <laughs> cool. Well, Thank you. look at me.